Hello there and welcome. I'm Bob Proctor. And I'm going to take you back a little in time. There's no PowerPoints. There's no great technology. I'm going to use a flip chart because I want this to be in real time. And I want to explain something to you that not many people really understand. I want to talk about the law of attraction. Do you know that the law of attraction is always working? It's like the law of gravity. If I let this go, it's going to go down. It's never going to go back up. It's going to go down. That is the law of gravity. Anything heavier than Earth is attracted towards the center of the world. Well, the law of attraction is always working. Now, how does it work? Well, I use a diagram to explain the mind. Now, let this circle represent your mind. And let this little circle here represent your body. Now, I want you to think of this for a moment. Your body is a molecular structure. This is a mass of energy and a very high speed of vibration. If you looked at your body through a microscope, you'd see that energy dancing right before your eyes. And here's something that'll keep you thinking for the next 20 years. When you move out of it, the body does not stop moving. If you go to a funeral parlor and pick up the remains and look at it, you will see it moving. And if it wasn't moving, how would it ever change to dust? You move into your body and you will move up. And it's how you use your mind that's going to dictate the vibration you're in. Now stay with me. You have an imaginary line right across here, and that separates the conscious mind from the subconscious mind. Now the subconscious mind has been programmed. When you were a little baby, this is the way it was. Go so just like this. Subconscious mind wide open and everything that was going on around it went right in there. And all the energy that went in there when you were just a little baby formed something called a paradigm. Now a paradigm is information. It's a multitude of habits. You are the product of your environment. But prior to that, you were the product of a genetic strain that goes back for generations. Now I'm going to say that the paradigm is X type energy. Now, you've got the ability here on a conscious level to think. And you can think anything you want to think. And as you think, you build ideas. There's a power that's flowing into your consciousness. It never stops. It flows to and through you. You can actually photograph this power leaving you. It flows to and through you. Now, as it flows in, you will start thinking, and you'll probably think X-type thoughts. Therefore, you're going to be in an X-type vibration. And that will produce X-type results. Now, it's the results you want to change. And to change the results, you're going to have to change what you attract. You see, the thoughts that you think control the vibration that you're in. Vibration is nothing but an idea. It's a law of the universe. Everything vibrates. Nothing rests. We live in a notion of motion. And it's the thoughts that you're thinking that you impress upon your subconscious mind that control the vibration the body's in. And that dictates how you act, but it also dictates what you attract. You attract energy that's in harmony with you. You attract people that are in harmony with you. You see, everything operates on frequencies. There's an infinite number of frequencies. But you and I operate on a frequency just like a radio station does. And the only music you can attract is the music that is tuned in to the vibration you're in. Now, it's the paradigm that has been controlling the vibration. You can change your thinking, but that doesn't do anything. You've got to change the paradigm. And if you don't change the paradigm, nothing happens. Now, talking about paradigms is another subject. We'll do that at another time. But it's the thoughts that you think that control the vibration you're in, and that dictates what you attract. So if you keep attracting what you don't want, understand this. It's the paradigm that's causing the problem. You can think a Y-type thought, which is totally different than the X-type conditioning. It isn't going to go anywhere. Because when you go to get emotionally involved, and this is the emotional mind, when you go to get emotionally involved with that Y-type thought, the paradigm will kick it out. You know why? It's so uncomfortable. That's stepping out of the box. That's doing things different. And we don't like to do things different because it causes a lot of discomfort. But understand this. The paradigm and the thinking control the vibration you're in. And the vibration you're in is going to dictate what you attract. People that are in a poverty consciousness will continue to attract lack and limitation. 
It has nothing to do with this, what's going on here. This is your educated mind, and you could gather all kinds of information. Have you ever wondered why some people have such an educated mind? They have degrees coming right off the end of their business card, but it doesn't show up in their results. Why? Paradigm. The law of attraction. You've got to change this. You've got to change the vibration you're in, and your whole world changes. Listen. In 1961, a man gave me this book. And he said, do exactly what I tell you. He was giving me Y-type ideas. It caused an enormous amount of discomfort. But I did exactly what he said. And you know something? My income went from 4000 to 175000 in a year, and then I took it over a million. It took me nine and a half years to figure out what happened. This is what I'm showing you. Watch this over and over and over again. There's a number of lessons in here. And another lesson, I'm going to show you how to change the paradigm. When you change the paradigm, the change in results is automatic. You know why? You start to attract something new, something different. And what we want to do is program in positive information and eliminate the negative. I'm going to show you how to do that. A law of attraction. You attract according to the vibration you're in. This thing we live in is a molecular structure. Your body is a mass of energy. Do you know if you put your body in front of an infrared television camera in a completely dark room, your whole being would be nothing but a glistening, radiating, gleaming form. Feeling is conscious awareness of the vibration we're in. When we don't feel good, we're in a negative vibration. You want to feel good? Move into a positive vibration. Stop and think of what you're grateful for. But understand this. You will never attract to you wealth, happiness, health, until you get the paradigm to get you on that frequency. It's Bob Proctor, and thank you. Check us out at proctorgallagherinstitute.com for tips, tools, and resources.